Uh, we're going to look particularly at the defensive breakdown. So probably leading into the tackle, just post the tackle, um, the work that you do around to obviously hopefully steal opposition ball or affect uh, ball speed. So just on my call, they go down, put an arm up on the bag to show that you've made the tackle. So left arm up, Dennis, left arm up. Up! Fight, get the ball out, drag the ball out, good. Put it back in. Next one down. Up! Dragging the ball out. Up! One more. Okay, good. So literally again, just speeding through and all we're encouraging the guys to do is get up, contest for the ball. Now, the same points that we talked about there, technically, what do we need off the ground first? Hips up. Hips up. So, He's made that tackle. What do we think the first thing that we need, Dennis, to get up? Show release. Okay, so show release, but he's got to get up first to show the release. I'm asking which, which part of him we want popped up first? Oh, yeah. That's it. So we work really hard on popping his ass up, okay? So if you see surfers, we just call it that surfer motion. So all I want, okay, is like you've landed nuts first on a, on a bowl of nettles there. I just want those hips up nice and quick. There you go, okay, now I want you to get up completely, Dennis. There we go, now we're working back down. Show me again. Beautiful, now can you do it all in one motion? Those nettles are stinging, there we go, perfect. So that's again a little technical point, thanks very much. The technical point that we're looking for, again, first thing up, always, like you said, getting that backside up, making sure you show a positive position, always hips up first. Once your hips up, you can show release, you can still keep head and chest over the ball, and you can start to attack it. Okay, so when we break this down, I just want you to recover first. So up, so hips first, great position. Feet need to be where? Wide, probably shoulder width apart, not too wide, but they more importantly need to be up against the bag. Where are those refs? Okay, why do we want his feet up? What does it show you? That he's on his feet. That he's supporting his body weight, perfect. So looking at these guys here to get their feet up. If his feet are out the back, put your feet out the back even more. Now lean on the bag. Okay, looks to me like all of that weight, like you talked about earlier, weight's going through the shoulders, that's poor shape. More often than not, you just look at it and go, no, that doesn't look great. It doesn't look like he's supporting his weight. If his feet are up, looks a whole lot better. Next bit is head and chest right over the ball. So anyone who jackals the ball like that is likely to wear a forearm, okay, right across the nose. If he's got head and chest over, it gives him a good opportunity now. Okay, back down we go in the pairs. What we talked about inside is obviously locating the ball. Okay, so we know we can't put our hands through and past. So all that we do now is I want you to just put the ball anywhere. So yep. So these guys can't see where the ball's going. So, right, you're going first, okay? Right. <laughs> Up! Boom, he's got to get in and find the ball. Next one. Stick it anywhere you want. Up! Okay, last one. Up! Good. Okay, so key part is the ball's always in motion. As we've said, refs don't want anyone going on their hands past the ball. You've got to find the ball first. What you can also do, if you just lie on your side over here, please, pal. Something very similar, if you come with me. Okay, grab the ball. If you've got the ball now, you're standing over jackling him. Just the same thing, different exercise. Okay, up you come. All I want you to do, as you start to see him come down, you can just move the ball around. He's got to target the ball. Off we go. There, and up you come. Once you've got a good jackal on it, leave it there with him. And go! Moving around. So that's again, all you're doing is targeting the ball, making sure he gets good shape without putting your hands on the floor. Really, like as we said, want to encourage this breakdown defensively to be as clean as it can be. All right, so you can use the bags either or. If you don't have bags, it's just something you can do, obviously, with the players there. That's, you know, at the end of a session on a Tuesday, we'll do literally four of those, three of those drills, 15 minutes. All the back row, all the hookers, all the stealers that we've got. You know, so on a Tuesday night, if you've got 10 minutes, you just put them through three of those. Right off you go. Bang, this is all we're looking to do.